What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So my name is Short the Vix. Uh, my real name is Jack. I've been trading for about three years now. And prior to that, I've been learning about all of the different types of markets, the stock market, Forex market, crypto, um, and the real estate and bond markets as well since about the age of 14. Um, I'm 23 now. I had a lot of people very close to me at a young age uh, that did have a lot of experience in these types of markets. And I was always curious um, as to how people were actually making money uh, in any of these markets that people like to trade. And now I also recently just graduated with an undergraduate finance degree as well um and there's a couple of key things that i kind of want to explain to you guys um as to how you can actually be a successful trader the first thing that you need is a very powerful strategy and a very specific set of rules in order to implement that strategy in order to stay within uh some very specific risk management framework so we're going to go over a strategy today that i absolutely love i use it every single day and how you guys can implement this into your everyday trading as well. Now, a little bit later, we're gonna go over some of the more emotional intelligence or psychological aspects of the market um, because that, in my opinion, is one of the most important parts of trading. You have to understand how you react to certain situations um, in your overall long-term goals for what you actually want to achieve in the market. Um, if you plan on trading for five, 10, 15, 20 years, it's really going to benefit you to build those good habits now so that when you end up building your portfolio, stacking up those uh, compounding gains, that once you end up getting to those larger numbers in your account, you are fully equipped to trade effectively with that dollar amount that you are trading with in your portfolio. So first, let's just get into the strategy right here. Um, and we're gonna kind of take a look at the S&P 500 ETF, the SPY. Now, this chart right here uh, is the five minute chart from uh, what date was this right here? So we are looking at July 22nd, I believe. So the blue line right here is the 13 EMA. The red line right here is the 48 EMA. The yellow line is the 200 exponential moving average right here. So what we like to play is the 1348 EMA crossovers. Now we also have this 200 exponential moving average right here to give us an indication of what the longer term trend is. Typically, when price is trading below the 200 EMA, you are gonna see it in more of a bearish trend. And we're, when you are seeing price action above the 200 EMA, you are going to see it in a little bit of a bullish trend. Now, we see this cross happen right here. We wait for it to confirm down below that 200 exponential moving average and price action goes all the way from about 397 all the way down to that next key level of support down around 393. Now this doesn't just happen on one specific day. We can go back to the day before right here. The blue line, the 13 EMA is crossing up above the 48 EMA right here. We are seeing closing candles uh, above that 200 exponential moving average. And again, that's signaling on the longer time frames uh, that that is gonna be a little bit of a more bullish trend uh, if the longer time frame is showing you that price action is trending above. And you see price go all the way from about 394 on the S&P 500 ETF SPY all the way up to that next key level of resistance right here around 397. So these are very significant moves that this strategy is able to predict. It's a momentum indicator right here. Now, I know a lot of you guys may not be able to sit and watch the market uh, all the time. You might have a nine to five job and it's gonna be more difficult for you to sit and stare at the screen all the time. Well. This strategy is going to work very powerful, uh, very well, and it's still very powerful on longer time frames as well. When we come over to the four hour chart, which is gonna be great for swing trading, um, and if you guys don't necessarily understand what that means, swing trading is just essentially holding positions overnight for a few days uh, or even a few weeks as your investment uh, or, or uh, options trade actually starts to uh, play out. Now, when we come over here, we are seeing the 13 crossing above the 48 we see that closing candle above the 200 ema right here and we are seeing price action go from about 392 all the way up to that next key level of resistance right here and also flashes up to 400 so very very uh, significant moves now these types of crosses are happening all the time every single day and basically every single stock in the market. And that's why with our group, uh, we alert you guys, we have the fastest alerts on over 450 stocks in the market on a wide variety of different timeframes. Uh, we also offer you guys about 55 private live streams every single month where we go over um, exactly how to trade with this strategy. We have a curriculum series for you guys as well. And the other thing that we really like to talk about and some interesting things that we've been working on um, are these algorithms um, that our team has been able to create. So if you look at the daily chart right here, 
Uh, the algorithm that is actually available to you guys right now with our group um, trades on the daily time frame. And again, guys, if you are interested in this, make sure you guys just go check out that link down below. I am going to give you guys a little bit of a hint on something really crazy that we're working on, uh, something that I have never seen before. And it's honestly, I'm very excited um, for this new kind of strategy and the way that we're going to be alerting uh, is going to be playing out. So make sure you guys stick until the end of this video because uh, the, this this new thing that we have coming out, we call it Invictus, is, is actually pretty crazy. So um, on the daily time frame here, you can see that these moves are a lot more significant. But again, the longer the time frame that you're looking at, the more drawn out the move, meaning that your investment horizon or the amount of time, the holding period that you're going to be in this trade is going to be a little bit longer. So you see the last time that the S&P uh, 500 ETF had a cross down was right back here in April. You see the price is trading right around 442. You get this closing candle all the way down here in these two uh, on the daily time frame between about 434 uh, and 424 right here. And price goes all the way down to this next key level uh, of support right around 384. So the strategy is very, very, very powerful if you are able to implement it. Now, Again, that's kind of the first part right here. This is the strategy that I like to use. It could be any strategy. If you are comfortable with something else, that is completely fine, whatever works for you and your own portfolio. But what I think everybody could benefit from here is really setting up their goals in mind in a very, very specific way and thinking about what I like to call the long game. Now, when we come over here, we're going to look at how many trading days there are per year, and there's 252 trading days in a year. Now, I want to bring up the concept of compounding interest. This is something that a lot of you guys know about, but you may not necessarily understand just how powerful it actually is um, and, and how beneficial it is to try to put the power of compound interest on your side, not only with long-term investing, but with your trading as well. When we come over here, there's a couple of things that we need to look at. So if you are trading in a small account with, let's say, about $2,000 and you had a 1% daily interest rate, meaning that you were making 1% on your portfolio every single day. Now, I am not saying that with any strategy, you are going to be making 100%. Um, typically, in the risk management framework that we lay out in our group, um, we talk about going into trades with no more than 10% of your portfolio. Um, and again, if you make 10% on that trade with an options contract, which is very, very likely, we only really need one trade per day, 10% of your portfolio, making 10% on that trade, that gets you at 1%. But again, you're going to have some days that are a lot more and you're going to have some days that you're actually going to take some losses. So let's just see how this would actually play out if your goal every single day was to make 1% and if you were able to actually execute on this goal. When we come down a little bit further, at the end of one year, you turn that $2,000 into $12,000. It's very, very, very significant. You're at a 500% return. Very crazy. Now, again, I'm not saying that this is what's going to happen. I want you guys to think about it in this way, though. It's the lesson of thinking about the goals and the expectations that you have coming in every single day. Um, and the reason why I want to go over this is because on social media a lot, you see a lot of people posting these gains uh, on any options trades of 100%, 500%. A thousand percent. Um, and again, that is very possible. But again, you're going to have a lot more consistency if you're aiming for those base hits rather than swinging for those home runs all of the time. Now, when we come down a little bit further, when you're first starting out, you're only making about $20 a day. That's 1% on a $2,000 portfolio. But after a year, let's see what your daily gains would actually be. After this one year right here, you're making about $118 a day. Not bad. Well, let's see what it is after year two. You take that same $12,000 right here that you end up at, at the end of one year, same 1% goal that you have, another 500% gain, you end up at about $72,000. And what is that daily rate or the daily dollar amount that you would be able to bring in um, at the end of the year if you were aiming for that 1%? When you come down a little bit further, $712 per day. Now, again, I can't harp on this enough. It is not guaranteed with really any trading strategy that you are going to be making 1% per day. It's the mindset in the goals that you have going into every specific day that I want you guys to fully understand because you don't need to be swinging for the fences on a lot of these trades. You don't need to think, well, I'm going to keep holding this position in the hopes that it's going to be going up three, four, five hundred percent when right here we've just showed you by taking those small quick gains uh, in those base hit trades 
is going to put the power of compound interest on your side. You're going to be trading a little bit safer, um, and it's going to make things a lot more consistent for you. You're not going to be seeing those wild fluctuations in your portfolio all of the time, and that is what is one of the main keys to being a successful trader is consistency. And I don't think a lot of people realize this right here, that you don't really need to be swinging for those giant gains in order to grow a, uh, a small portfolio. Can you? Absolutely, there's examples of it everywhere. But what is more likely, you hitting a wild options trade or taking the time, learning the fundamentals now, stacking up that cash balance, taking those small gains? In my opinion, hitting those base hit trades, slowly stacking up the cash balance is going to get you where you need to be um, at a faster rate in uh, a more consistent rate than if you were to just try and YOLO your way uh, to a million dollars. Now, I do want to kind of go over an example of kind of how powerful this new kind of alert system that we have is. Um, we call it Invictus. I want to give you guys a little bit of a kind of teaser on this. Uh, at the current time that I'm recording this video, this should be out uh, within the next three weeks for a lot of people uh, in our group to actually use. Now, what we have to look at here is going to be Tesla. So when we come back over here, we're going to put Tesla on the five minute time frame. Now, when we're looking at Tesla on the five minute time frame of last Friday, we can see that this chart right here has a pretty nasty cross down, but we end up bouncing right off that 200 EMA, but there's a lot of money to be made on this move down. Well, when we come over here, this is one of the alerts that Invictus actually sent out. You see five minute cross down and 9.11 bars, and the timestamp on this is 11.21 AM Eastern. Where is this actually alerted on the chart where this new bot is going to be basically assuming um, and trying to tell you where a significant move is going to happen. When we come over here to Tesla, 1121 is on this candle right here on these two candles. You then see Tesla close down below this 48 EMA and you see on a Friday, Tesla go from about 829 all the way down to that next key level of support at 813. If you guys see in the thumbnail of this video, I took this trade. Um, and it was actually a 91% return, and I sold it a little bit early. I sold when Tesla was actually coming down to that 921, where I was projecting to see a little bit of a bounce because we had this previous level of support uh, coming in right over here. We had two of these levels right here that I did think we were going to bounce off of. Um, and again, I took my gains and I got out. So again... If you guys do want to get access to this, it is linked down below. But again, there are many different trading strategies out there that you guys can use. It's all going to come down to what works best for you. So that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome day wherever you guys are. If you did find any value from this video here, make sure you guys go down and hit that like button. Other than that, people, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.